Hi, this is Trinity Oracles. Today we're going to do a video on how do you know if you have a fake guru in your life or if you might be in a cult. <laughs> it's yeah. true. It might be one yeah. you don't know, or you might. You it's know. true because Candace said there's a there's a YouTuber who was saying that she was in one. She said she didn't even know. She's like, I thought it was just people meet up and just have a good time. But she's I didn't watch the full video, but she's like, I just. She's like, I was in a cult. Like, after all this stuff happened, she's mm -hmm. like, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. And we've actually experienced, experienced working with a fake guru. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to, you know, tell you guys some tips so you'll know if you're around a fake guru or, you know, a low-key cult. <laughs> exactly. Because we've had that experience. So uh, go ahead and start it off. Let's get started. Yeah. So the first thing I got is that um usually you would notice if it's a male guru or they say like spiritual healer or whatever he usually has women around him who are extremely obsessed with him mm -hmm. like always following him like a like basically like, like an puppy like, yeah like a, like a like a puppy and then also what we notice is that when you'd ask the, like when we'd ask the person to answer i'm not sorry a question they usually Never give you give a, straight you a answer. straightforward answer. It'd be like a puzzling answer. Talking circles. And yeah, and it's almost like they talk like biblical talk. You're like, what are you talking about? And then they try to be like, you get it? You get it? And you're like, yeah. <laughs> no. like, I get it. like you'll say you get it just to get away, but you really don't get it. Exactly. It's a way to like keep you confused. Uh huh. Keep you coming back. And searching. Like if they act like they have all the answers. And they keep you in a loop, so when you don't get it, you come to them to search uh -huh. for the answers. So they can brainwash you to believe what, what they, they told uh -huh. you because it was too hard too mm -hmm. quote unquote too hard for yeah. basic human psyche it's true to and usually it. i and what we notice is that there was always like usually a lot of female that hang around this person but there was always like one specifically who was on this person like a dog like everybody he sit <laughs> down she has to sit next to him he, he go to the bathroom i gotta go to the bathroom like like it was crazy um, and then also I get, they usually evoke certain sexual energies towards people. Yeah. Like weird sexual energy and people are like, uh, like, like, people don't talk about it, people feel it. They feel, exactly. But then exactly. after we noticed, after we left, talking, like, hanging around the fake guru, we, like, we compare stories and everyone's like, yeah, we felt like a weird sexual vibe, a sexual energy that they put out. Yeah. It's Crazy. true. It's true. And everybody, it's like this weird attraction, weird sexual energy. And like I said, it's, it's. Other yeah. people said they felt it too, so mm -hmm. we were like, okay. So you weren't the only one. <laughs> exactly. And then also we got a, um, what we noticed that he would do is that he'd do divide and conquer groups. Like he'd tell um, one group of people this, another group of people that, and then he'd sit back and watch them like argue and fight. And he'd be like, and then he'd be like, you need help, just come to me. Like he, he loved, he loved that. He would say it was like helping. Like I'm trying to help you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he would, it would actually just make things worse. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, like. I don't choose sides. Sorry. I don't oh, choose yeah, I don't, sides. Oh, I don't, I don't get into it. But he's the one that started in the first place. He, he just needs entertainment. It's like drops a little crumb. Yeah. And then and drops fights another crumb it. and everybody fights for it. And then I'm neutrality. Uh-huh. I'm like God. I'm God and I can help you guys on. It's like no, it just You started then. It's right? like it's like abusive, like emotional. It's like it's psychological like abuse. abuse. Yes. Bring that mm -hmm. brainwashing. Yes. Um, and then also I get that usually when you enter these places such as a like almost like a cult like place or even talking to a fake a, a guru or any guru by by that matter, you notice that there is a weird vibe in the place where you visit. Like you usually feel it, but you can't figure it out. But then you like talk to other people and they'll be like, yeah, you know, I felt weird when I went to that place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then you, if you know, you don't follow your gut, you usually get sucked in. <sighs> yep, and, and that's what you, happened to us. Uh-huh, and then also I, what I noticed, and a lot of people notice that this person had like a hypnotic magnetic force. Yeah. They're like, they, they'd be like, oh, I'm just drawing this person. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Probably doing some witchcraft or something like that pulling people in mm-hmm yeah this is very odd mm -hmm. yes yes you um another way you know you're working with a fake guru is they make you believe they are god mm -hmm. that is that is number one they're divine like he's i'm like divinely touched i'm one of, i'm one of only few of 10 like me in the world or something mm -hmm. or one of one i'm the only one left something yes, like that yes you can make a communion with god uh -huh. but you will never be god. be god 
but you can be godlike. But they make it believe like they're just God walking here mm -hmm. on this earth, and they're the only ones that are here to save everybody. Mm -hmm. um, only I can help you. Oh yes, that's what he'd say. Yes, you believe they can do no wrong, and others believe they can do no wrong. Um, instead of lifting you up, they tear you down mm -hmm. or quote unquote always say if you want to be like me instead of, you know, be the best version of you. They mm -hmm. always want, it's like a comparison thing, um, which is another form of like psychological abuse, like keeping people mm -hmm. down. Um, they'll use your faults against you instead yeah. of helping you. Um... They like to say there is an elite group of souls or people <laughs> who are here to help everyone and you are one of them. Yeah, he Every, say that. Oh everyone God. is here to help everybody. <laughs> Not just spiritual people. Accountants, bookkeepers, <laughs> teachers, <laughs> even the mortician. Everybody's okay. been brought here to help everybody. Even the germs, probiotics. Yeah. Everybody is here to help everybody. Um, it's a sheep mentality. So it's like bring all the sheep together and then you have the person who's supposed to lead the sheep and it's really a wolf mm -hmm. in sheep's clothing. Um, <laughs> they tell you they only can help you and no one else can. And they like to often say, the world is against us. Or uh -huh. not against us, uh, against us or, but mostly they say the world is against them. Uh -huh. It's against them. So they start making you believe it gets you in that fear mentality yeah. and you end up like clinging to that person even more because you start thinking it's like survival instinct. Like, oh my God. Like, so it's like survival of the fittest. That's mm -hmm. how they make it seem. Um, and I think the government's always watching them all the time. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Go ahead. What's your stuff? Oh man. Um, they say one thing and do another. Like, oh, we should accept people. But then you hear them talking badly about, you know, certain races, certain uh -huh. groups. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was it do as I do as I say, but not what I what is it? What's that? Do quote? as I say, not, not as I do. Mm. Exactly. Um, I remember that. Yeah. He's talking about people like races and people's sexuality. And then he'd be like against them. It's crazy. Um, Want to want you to follow rules, but they don't follow. And like they said, you have to. I don't know. Be here early, but then they always show up late and you're like. Well, what the heck is that? Um, expects you to you to agree with them, um, even when you like in your gut you're like I don't feel like that's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. And when you don't agree with them, they flip it around and make you oh. crazy or that you're not enlightened enough and different things like that. When it's your gut, which is God, the angels are protecting you, saying don't believe this fool. And, they, and I also know what he used to do is he used to use people. He to would do use their people bidding. for free. No, yes. use people for free to do his bidding. That's what I'm saying, and use people for free. Oh, no, I'm not talking about that. I mean, like, talking about stuff like, oh, can you, like, can you clean this? Can you do this? Can you run this errand for me? Like, basically using people as free assistants. Oh. And because you think he's, like, or this person's, like, a guru, like, selected by God. You're, like, happy you to do, do it. You are happy yeah. to be like, oh, I'm, I, I'll do anything for you. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, damn, I can getting paid for this. <laughs> like, no, seriously. Okay. Um, also, I put, um, when confronted, they pretend to not go with, know what's going on. Like, oh, you're lying. Blah, blah, blah. That's not true. Oh. Um, they put words in your mouth um, to mm -hmm. make you believe in what they believe. And um, just say when you, um, they act like they don't know what's going on. So if you're like, oh, you know, I, you know, oh, I don't want, I don't really feel like being here anymore or whatever. They're like, oh, well, what happened? Even though they, in they, the, really they know, know what they know, they're just pretending to be dumb. About exactly, it. exactly. So. Another thing is when you either talk about the guru badly, uh -huh. express your opinion, or you just want to simply leave, they will turn the entire group against or quote-unquote cult or the people that believe in them so much against you. Mm -hmm. It's true. Mm -hmm. And then they do psychological brainwashing to bring you back in and to keep you in there. And the other people lie for them also. All the time. They just, they lie. They, they, one thing is they don't know how to tell the truth. Even the people around them, it's like... Oh, so and so, this, 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 and you're like, no, this is what happened. They're so brainwashed. Yeah. They're so brainwashed. They can't even see the truth. I could mm -hmm. be like, this is a phone. They're like, no, it's not a phone. Our guru said it's this, this, and this. I'm like, let me take you to the Apple store, <laughs> and they said it's a phone. No, my guru says it's not a phone. It is a pillow. Okay. They cannot even see the truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Anything that's else? pretty much it. Oh my god. Yes, yes. So one of the biggest recommendations we can give you guys is if you 
go around a guru, you enter a healing center, you go around maybe a healer or something, it's something that your gut tells you, like something doesn't feel right, and you mm -hmm. instantly just like, I don't know, something doesn't right. follow that. Yeah. Please follow that. We had one of the biggest lessons of our lifetime, but we're so glad we went through that lesson because now we can give it to you guys and help you guys so you guys don't have to go through that mm. fake guru and, you know, these cults and different things like that. But mm. that's the biggest tip we can give you guys is follow your gut. Mm -hmm. this is, and then ask other people, too. Like, if you yes. see someone else come outside the... Um, whatever, wherever they have the cult or the meeting group, I just be like, hey, like, how do you, how, like, how does everything go? How do you feel about this? And they, if they say, like, hey, you know, I find this a little weird, then that's some confirmation for you right there. Oh, exactly. Yeah. But also, you know, another thing is, you might even, you know, talk to others and say, oh, you know, something doesn't feel right, but everybody else is saying, no, just go. Just leave. Just, Seriously. just leave. You know, you don't need to be accepted. You can find other groups, other spiritual groups who are really in the light, gurus who are really in the light, and really here to, you know, uplift humanity instead mm -hmm. of playing with them, thinking they're God, and think that they can do whatever they want, and there is no karma, and there's just, there's a whole bunch of stuff that just, you know, goes on in the spiritual world, dealing with spiritual mm -hmm. gurus, and we just want to let you guys know. Um... Anything else you no, wanted to? Yeah. So like I said, if everybody says, oh no, I feel like they're a good person, but you feel it, just go. Take that leap of faith. You have the most courage and the most mm -hmm. strength out of that whole group. Just exactly. Just go. You'll, you'll thank yourself later. <laughs> and we'll tell you this, don't go back. Don't second guess what you felt. Uh, if you're if, don't basically, go back. if you're not comfortable with like the teachings, then hey, you know, go some with some people who yeah. do agree. You know, exactly. Those teachings aren't for you. Yeah, you know, they're not. It, it feels good. Yeah, it feels good what you know you are learning in the people that you are around. Yeah, you'll find your tribe. Like they say, you'll find the people. You'll find you know. your tribe, and and a true guru. If you say, hey, I don't feel right about this, they welcome it. Yeah, they're it's, like, hey, agree to disagree. Hey, exactly. They welcome it, and they're open to you bringing your opinion and your ideas, mm -hmm. and bringing it to the group instead of just to them, and then they flip it back around and tell you no. Mm -hmm. But a true guru will say, hey, bring it up to the rest of the group. I'm still learning too. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know that's that's a true guru. Um, another thing I forgot to bring this up is. Um, Fake gurus like for you to just keep, they like to keep secrets, so they like for you to just come and talk to them. They make you their point of trust. So you mm -hmm. trust them about every little detail about your life. Should I drink this milk? Should I eat this cereal? Should I believe in this? Should I wear these clothes? Instead of just trust yourself. You should be your own central point of trust, but fake gurus will make you and everybody else come to them only. And yeah, then, a real guru will kind of say, hey, you know, if you feel like you should drink it, then don't drink it. If you want to drink it, drink it. It's up to you. It's up to they you. They give you the yeah. power of choice. With they, fake gurus, are just like, this is what it is. It, don't exactly. question it. Here you go, drink the milk. And you're like, I don't want to drink it. They're like, but drink it. Exactly. <laughs> and then exactly. I was not going to say, also, they like to make, you talk about the secret thing. What I noticed a guru would do is that he would... Um, tell you a secret and then be like don't tell anyone he tried to make you feel yes. special and yes. then everyone else is walking around like oh i only know the secret but everybody knows but no one can say it so it's like he was testing your um faith and loyalty yeah he was yeah. testing your loyalty but also seeing how um some people are how far you can you can take it with you exactly or they can take it but also take testing it. you mentally like some people are like oh he told me this did he tell you that you know, some people are just going to be more mm -hmm. open. They're not going to... They just want to see if you're able to keep secrets and then they keep going more inches and next, you know, they mm -hmm. take a mile with you and then a whole yard. And yeah. I don't know if a mile younger than a little yard. But, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, you know, they just, wow. like you said, they want to see how far they can take it with you. And the next mm -hmm. thing you know, you're doing something you never would have thought you'd do. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh my God. So they just make you believe that they're trusting you only with certain uh -huh. secrets. They're not. Mm -hmm. They yeah. are not. Believe me, I know. It <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Um, but the fake guru was even doing it between the three of us. As sisters. As sisters. Even trying to divide and conquer us. And whispering secrets to one and to the other and making up, oh, you didn't know this and oh, you didn't know that about the other. Just making up all sorts of stuff. Even like we grew up with each other for years and trying to make us think they knew things about each one of us that the other didn't know mm -hmm. and spreading lies and when one sister was trying to venture off you know your other sister's crazy 
I think this is happening with her. I think there's a mental thing. Like all sorts of, mm -hmm. just all sorts, mm -hmm. of, sorts of shit, you know? So, you mm -hmm. know. And then also, the I forgot to say, they don't like being challenged. Yeah. With their belief system, they do not like it. And like even when we take like classes and stuff like that, like, like the guru would be the guru would be saying things that make absolutely no sense. Yep. But then like he tried to convince you that it made sense, even though you're sitting there like that don't make any sense at all. And now I'm a Capricorn, so like something makes sense to me. I'm like, my <laughs> mind's like somewhere else. Like this don't make any sense. But anyway, he didn't like the person did not like to be challenged, mm -hmm. and they just keep going and going until they like drilled into your head, even though it never made any sense. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so, yes, yes. But yes. if you want to know, you know, you got a fake guru in your life, or if you're in a cult, you know, you can get a reading from any of the Trinity Oracles. Check out the link below, trinityoracles.com. And thanks for watching. Yeah. Until Bye. next time. Woo.